Welcome back to my channel. I will provide sharing about how to use WebSocket in Golang. But before that, let's take a look at the results of the project. I turn on the server and back to the browser. Here I open two browsers to see real time between the two when sending messages. And when one sends a message, then the other one will receive a message from his friend. Like making a chat that relies on a real time. And let's start creating it. In an empty folder, I initialized the project and installed the Gorilla package. Gorilla is a module that can be used for WebSocket creation. And we'll just plug it into the HTML. We will make it the simplest. We need to import HTTP, FMT, and Gorilla which have been installed before. And we create the upgrader variable, which is the WebSocket package from Gorilla module. And read buffer size is to define the size of the read buffer when receiving messages from WebSocket connection. Its value is specified in bytes and is the default value. Is 4096 bytes. This is used to set the amount of data that can be received in one read from the WebSocket connection. And we create an on point used for WebSocket, this time. And receive a message sent from the client, and to know the message, I will print the message to the terminal. And then I forward the message to the client so that it is printed in the JavaScript browser. And after that, 
Lastly I created an endpoint to serve static HTML on the client. Here I just make a simple input, and a button. And I give function in button. Here I take the HTML DOM of each HTML element. And I open connection to WebSocket. For the URL, namely the URL of the WebSocket Golang. And when connected, I will display a message that the client is connected. And when receiving messages from the server returns, I will print that message to browser. and I run server. However, there is a slight problem here. And here I will give a simple CSS style. To arrange the layout so that it looks neat.
and there seems to be no problem. We try to test the browser whether it works. I'm trying to send a message here. And apparently it worked. Both have received the same message. And that's about the use of WebSocket in Golang for HTML. Actually you can use it for frameworks, like React.js and Vue.js.